Welcome to Bling It. Before you launch your program, you'll need to insert your dongle. Once your dongle is inserted, you can now launch your program. If you're launching the program for the first time, this is probably going to be what your workspace looks like. This tutorial is going to go over how to customize this workspace. Now your work menus here are completely customizable and as long as we have our selection tool selected right here, which is our pointer tool, we can actually drag and drop these to different areas of our workspace. This is customizable according to your preference, so feel free to play around and set it up the best way that you would like it. These these can be moved to the side menu, either side menu or the above menu right here. Same with all these other workspaces. Basically if you see this little double line, this means that this area can be moved and completely customized. Also we would recommend taking a look at the drop down menus and file menus above. You have file, edit, layout, arrange, cut, transform, view, options, web, and then help. Your help menu has some advanced help guides that can help you navigate the software along with the tutorials that we're providing with the software. Let's start. take a look starting at the um, file menu. The file menu allows you to open, new, close, zoom, um, things like this. Now if you take a look at the file menu, there are hotkeys associated with this. This program doesn't have as many hotkeys as another program like let's say Corel Draw or Photoshop would have, but it does have some hotkeys. So learn these hotkeys. If you know these hotkeys, you can navigate the program a little bit quicker. A couple things to keep in mind that you'll be using a lot in the file menu. Your import and acquire image you'll be using quite a bit. Importing images such as vector, PDF, e EPS uh, designs can be imported directly into the software. Also acquiring image if you have a scanner and select uh, whether it be a bitmap or an image you can actually import through a scanner into the software. Finally install. Install will be actually how you set up your drivers. Now your drivers being your cutter device. So if you go to cutting devices here, we can actually see all the preloaded cutting devices. Now most of our Blingit users will be either using the Craft Rubber Pro 15 inch plotter or the Roland GX24. So we can actually come down here, let's say we're using our, our Roland GX24, we could find the maker Roland and then we'll select that and then we're going to use the Cam GX24 so we could find that specific cutter and then select that. Now Blingit allows you to select multiple design, uh, devices obviously, however you can only have one device selected at a time. So you'll need to reset up your software if you'll be uh, selecting a different plotter and we definitely recommend only having one plotter set up at a time and trying to stick with that. Once you have your one plotter device selected, you want to make sure that every single other device and brand is deselected. You can go ahead and hit next. You also want to ensure that your plotter is actually hooked up to your computer so it can communicate together. Let's check out our zoom options within the Blinkit software. Now you have your zoom menu right here which we can zoom in, zoom out, uh, zoom to select an object and percent zoom. Also if you are using a mouse, you can use your scroller bar to zoom in and out. There are also some hotkeys. F7 will center your page, bring it to 100% zoom. F6 will zoom out, F5 will zoom in. So you can either use your mouse, you can use your menu, or you can use the hotkeys. I typically am going to have my menu or my selection page fit to size. So right now I see my whole page at once. Also if I'm working with some fine detail then I would probably zoom in to bling it. To change the size of your design, we want to go to blank size and that's going to allow us to actually change the size of our blank or our palette. So right now we only have a 4x4 image. If I go to blank size I can choose my custom width and height. So let's say I want to make a 10x10 rhinestone image. Want to put it in landscape or, or portion it. We actually have the ability to once again also resize these objects and make them a little bit bigger, smaller, and we can actually even skew these. So this is going to give us our background or our sizing according to what image we're going to be rhinestoning. Once again, there is a help menu and an index so you can go through and learn a lot more about this software specifically.